The FLIR 1 Pro is a little device that can turn your iPhone into a thermal imaging camera. It can be super helpful for homeowners. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Today we are taking a look at the FLIR 1 Pro. This is a little device that attaches to your iPhone, turning it into a thermal imaging camera. Now what's really cool is that it features a built-in telescoping lightning connection. And this is handy because it means that you don't have to take your iPhone out of a case to make it work with the FLIR 1 Pro. You'll also find a built-in USB Type-C port and corresponding charging cable included in the package. And of course, there's the power button. Now to provide you with a sense of scale, I've stacked up the FLIR 1 Pro next to Apple's lightning dock and you can see it's very, very tiny. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the really nice things about the FLIR 1 Pro is that telescoping lightning connector. That's really handy because a lot of us keep our iPhones in cases. Uh, if you're doing work around the house, it's probably a good idea to have your iPhone in a case. So that telescoping lightning connection just raises up like that to facilitate an easy connection to an iPhone, even in a case. Pretty cool. And of course, that lightning connection is reversible, so you can turn it around to work in either direction. And of course, you can always turn your iPhone upside down to give the FLIR camera additional clearance. And now it's just a matter of launching the FLIR One app, which is available for free on the App Store. At the top, you have some of your photos, you have some tips, you also have some news information and other resources for FLIR One users. But I particularly like this right here, the little handy tips that give you ideas as to different ways you can use your FLIR One Pro. It's really, really cool all the ways a homeowner can use this device to maintain their home and to troubleshoot issues or to identify potential issues. And that's all on top of some of the potential creative ways that you can use the FLIR One Pro. So the main portion of the app, of course, is going to be the camera section. So we just tap on camera here, and now it's going to ask us to connect our FLIR One Pro. I've already charged it, so I just simply turn it on, connect it, and we'll be ready to go. And you can see those different sections for video, photo, and time-lapse. So it really does work like a normal camera app with some obvious bonus features. So I have it connected there, and you can see right off the bat, you see your thermal image, which is really cool. Now, the really nice thing about the FLIR 1 Pro is that it features two cameras. One is just a normal imaging camera, and the other is the thermal camera. And that thermal camera is what allows you to see different heat signatures of everything in your environment. So you can see I'm holding a piece of ice right now, and you can see the contrast between my hands, which are warm, represented by warmer colors, and that piece of ice, which is cold, represented by colder colors. And you can see even my fingertips are still cold from that ice, and it displays right there inside the viewfinder. That's just, of course, the tip of the iceberg. There are many more features found within this app, which hasn't unfortunately been upgraded for the iPhone 10 yet, but we'll save that for the complaint section. You have the visible camera. You can switch between that and the thermal camera, or you can use the MSX camera, which is basically a composite of both the visible and the thermal camera to provide you with a better and more discernible image. You can also choose between different color palettes, and these just aren't to look pretty, but they actually do help you to better identify certain waveforms generated by the infrared energy emanating from all the objects in your environment. There's also a built-in spot meter in the app, so you can actually pinpoint certain locations within the viewfinder and get a rough estimate of the temperature. Now, some of its accuracy is going to be determined by how close or how far away you are from the objects. Now moving on, you can also use the FLIR 1 Pro to take photos and images and document your troubleshooting. You can also use it for creative purposes if you want to do that. But I just find it extremely handy if you're a homeowner and you want to be able to troubleshoot or just identify potential problems within your house. Say, for instance, if there's a leak uh, or if there is a draft coming through, you can quickly identify where you may be lacking insulation in certain parts of the house or where a particular outlet may be running hot or a particular appliance may be running hot when it shouldn't be or maybe if you want to identify certain types of piping inside your house or just a variety of things you can look at the app and look at the tip section and really be able to see all the different ways that this device can be used. So I went through and tested a whole bunch of things. Obviously, this is just in my office and I have a heater running. You can see the heat signature from the heater obviously is showing it's hot. This is the uh, freezer and you can see 
cooler items in the freezer. And here you can see the piping behind my pedestal sink and you can quickly see which one is for hot water, obviously the red or the orange one, and which one is for cold water, obviously the blue or the purple. And I can take a picture of that to document. Now in this example, I can see inside the wall and you can see that there is a closet behind this wall, very easy to identify. So those are just a few basic examples of how this can be used it's not a perfect device. One of the main complaints is that the app is a little clunky. Obviously it hasn't been updated for the iPhone 10 yet, so that's disappointing. And battery life, this device only lasts for about an hour, but to be honest, that's pretty much all you're gonna need it for anyway between charges. Perhaps the biggest complaint may be with the refresh rate of the device. The camera, which actually is very impressive, uh, for a thermal camera with a 160 by 120 resolution actually compares very, very favorably when you compare more high-end thermal imaging devices. But the, the refresh rate is only 8.7 hertz, uh, so you get that choppy movement in frame, and I can see people complaining about that, even though it's still mighty impressive for what it is. The bottom line is, if you're a homeowner and you want to leg up on being able to keep tabs on the status of your home, then the FLIR 1 Pro is a huge help, and I definitely can recommend it based on that. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.